of people have asked me, what should I do or how should I really calculate my freight rates? And um, this is really more a shipper related question that we have received a lot over the last few weeks. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on this here. So in general, there's many accessorial charges that we call it or freight rates that are that are not really true what they are. Meaning you don't get a freight rate from $500 from LA to China anymore. You now get freight rates that are kind of built in building blocks, you know? And it's very careful to really compare apples to apples here uh, when you're uh, looking for your freight rates. Um, and especially Hapak in the recent months has really broken out a lot of surcharges. So I just wanted to go through the church charges and kind of how, so you can understand when you look at your freight rates appropriately. Um, so number one is you always have the terminal handling charges at origin. So that would be um, the terminal handling charges at the origin country where you export out of. So in this case, in the United States, if you export out of the United States, in most cases, a THC origin is already included. So, but you really want to make sure that, you know, that's actually included in your freight rate. Uh, the next thing is any kind of bunker surcharge or currency surcharges. So those would be your BAF or your CAF, you know, C-A-F or B-A-F. Um, those are uh, surcharges that many carriers charge for. Um, of course, there's many other ways to name these type of surcharges, right? Especially when it comes to fuel. Uh, every carrier kind of has like their own different fee that they use for that. You want to be uh, make sure that's included. Uh, another big one is, right, especially right now, the rerouting um, surcharges. Um, I know all the carriers are added to them on the last minute so we want to make sure that that's go going to be included going forward uh, and then of course you have your terminal handling charges at destination so the terminal handling charges at destination many times can be prepaid or collect meaning can be paid for by the consignee or can be paid for by the shipper so that would be the TTHC collect or prepaid um, and then of course you have you know many other little fees like your your chassis usage fees that MSC charges your security fees your ad fees, your documentation fees. Um, those are all the little tiny fees that the carriers are coming up with and they're coming up with more fees to kind of have special cost segments uh, assigned to that. This is the main reason why the carriers are doing it. I mean, if you've come across any kind of funky charges that you want to know about or, or have questions about, please uh, DM me and my team. We're more than happy to explain it to you and uh, please follow more for great content. Thank you so much.